Here's another in Dennis Daly's multi-part series on his favorite 25 radio shows from the medium's golden age. Here's Dennis. A tie for number 16, two great CBS shows, Suspense and Escape. And now, Autolite and its 60,000 dealers and service stations present Suspense. Tonight, Autolite brings you Fibber McGee and Molly in Backseat Driver, a suspense play produced and directed by Anton M. Leder. The CBS radio shows Suspense and Escape ran rather interchangeably over a 15-year period on CBS radio, sometimes sponsored, sometimes not. And the Hollywood actors love Suspense and Escape because it allowed them often to participate in plays that were very unlike their character. Here are Jim and Marion Jordan, Fibber McGee and Molly one of the great comedy teams of all time. They're carjacked in this episode of Suspense. I pulled up to the concrete walk I'd poured with my own hands before there was any Annie or Bud, and I cut the lights. In a second or two, my eyes got used to the dark. I could make out the high head jelly planted around the place and the roof rising up beyond it. Out, missus. Face the house. Now you, Mac, slide out the same side, stand beside her. funny business. I'm right behind you. Look out, Joe! Oh, no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Got the corner, boys! It's okay, Mike. Got him. You all right, Uncle Joe? And Ellie? Ellie. Mm-hmm. Ellie, honey, you all right? All right, indeed. Smack flat on my face on a concrete walk and you falling on her. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with her. <laughs> That's my girl. Oh, well, don't you stand there. Help me up. Here you are. Oh, I've got to get in the house before the kids come busting out here. I won't have them mixed up in this. Well, how's he doing, boys? Got him through the gun hand on the right shoulder. See? (laughs) A lucky shot, copper. If you weren't lucky, you'd all be cold meat now. Maybe. Matrick, isn't it, Uncle Joe? That's him. Miranda described him to you, eh? The old girl didn't miss a trick. Uh She even knew you were taking the back way home. You left a clear trail, Uncle Joe. Slick work. I had to get him out of the car before the fireworks started. Ellie didn't stand a chance. She helped, though. Ellie catches on quick. I'll bet. A mean guy like Matrick. Make him think he don't want to do something, and he'll break his neck doing it. I let on I was trying to run out of gas. That got us to Bill's. Then we both made out there was no sense going to Miranda's, so we got bullied into going to Miranda's. It was a thousand to one. She'd run off at the mouth about the brush fires and scare him into hiding out. After that, all Ellie had to do was turn on the hysterics. He was dead set on coming here. <laughs> Bright boy, like I said, bright enough. It's really interesting sometimes to hear the stars you love performing in an area in which you don't usually hear them. That's why Suspense and Escape rank number 16 on my list of favorite radio shows. Listen again for another in Dennis Daly's multi-part series on his favorite 25 radio shows from the medium's golden age.